We know we should be using password managers and how they work in the most basic essence. But do you know which kind of password manager you should use? In today's video, I'm gonna outline the two password managers I recommend. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. This is the last video, video three of the three-part series where I talk about the overall basis behind password managers. As outlined in the two previous videos where we talk about why you should be using a password manager and how password managers work, the preceding video is what password managers you should use. So unless you are somebody who wants to stay on to one particular device, you're gonna be severely limited in terms of how you can implement the local-based solution. Now, with that comes more security. In theory, I do agree that with a uh, local-based solution, you don't have to send anything over the internet, over any public network, meaning that everything is just local. For And so for a local-based solution, I recommend the KeyPass password manager. KeyPass is a free password manager that you can utilize where you can basically just generate free randomized passwords uh, that are all stored and encrypted and decrypted on your local database. Once again, this is basically, and there's nothing really here in terms of uh, other usabilities, but it does the job. And really it does ensure more or at least a little bit better security, you could say, than the password manager, like a cloud-based solution. But with that comes, well, a cost because you can't, necessarily have as much convenience. Which cloud-based vendor do I recommend to you? So there's all kinds of really good vendors out there that recommend password managers or have password manager products. The most well-known password manager is LastPass. Three or four years ago, LastPass, uh, you had to pay extra money for extra features, but now that everything is free for LastPass for individual users, it looks like a great product for somebody who, like you and I, wants the convenience and also wants a uh, good password manager. Now, I will agree that LastPass is a good password manager and that they do offer uh, a very good solution for for a free take. But that is not the password manager I recommend to you today. And here's why. There is other password managers which are gonna offer more services for basically a really, really cheap price. I don't know about you, and maybe this is just where I come in with my personal bias, but when I buy something, I feel like I demand more of a secure or just better, something of better quality. I'm not saying LastPass doesn't have quality. I did a video here talking about why I pay for my training. And so one of the big reasons why I just pay for my things is because I think that there is better quality or that we demand better quality when we're paying for things. This is where the whole idea of the password manager that I recommend comes in. And this password manager is Dashlane. LastPass and other common password managers can do really two things. Uh, they can generate secure passwords and they can store these in a vault. And two, they can autofill, meaning you don't have to worry about copying and pasting like you could in KeePass. However, Dashlane actually has three more services on top of this. And this is what I really like about Dashlane. First off, uh, you, you have the autofill, you have the generate, but also you gain a breach alert if any of your accounts have been compromised. On top of that, there is dark web monitoring and on top of that, which is the best part, this is the best part of the three services right here, is that you have access to a VPN. Now, there is many types of VPN vendors out there. I don't wanna get into the VPNs in this video, but having one solution that will do the dark web monitoring, at least some, you know, it may not be fantastic, but it's, it's better than nothing. It gives me notifications on breaches and has access to a VPN is really great and all for a very cheap price. So unlike LastPass, where you can have a LastPass and then you maybe have another a solution that does the monitoring of dark web, another solution that does the um, VPN, all three of those, where most likely you're gonna have to pay for a VPN, you're gonna have to pay for dark web monitoring and you can have a free. Dashlane will do that all for you. Now, without getting too markety here, I'm just gonna briefly outline um, why I still suggest a cloud-based solution over local-based solution because it always comes down to this whole idea of security versus convenience. And you kind of have to find the medium between those two. Dashlane is gonna generate highly secure and randomized passwords 
which will be stored in a vault. It's gonna save and autofill your information. If you want to allow it to autofill your information, you don't have to allow it to. You can store other types of uh, credentials, meaning phone numbers. If you are living in the United States, you can do a social security number, credit card numbers. You, you have that all in one area. That does ensure more convenience. It's gonna work across all of your devices, meaning tablet, cell phone, local computer, computer at school, anything. It, you can have it anywhere, which is the best part about a cloud-based solution, in my opinion. And if you are in a family setting, and let's say you create a Dashlane account and you have uh, some passwords that you share among like uh, your family, like maybe Netflix and Hulu and these kind of other pa Amazon account, things like that, you can have one Dashlane account and you can easily share your passwords among your family members. Now, Dashlane provides similar features to other password managers. Basically, all I just outlined there, other password managers can do that for you but here is what I really like about Dashlane you have access to a VPN so instead of having to find a enhanced VPN solution which will provide your VPN or private access or private secure internet you, you don't have to worry about that all you have to do is just get one Dashlane account and do the password manager side and then you have the VPN access as well with a VPN access, you can uh, pick a location on any of their loca selectable locations. And even though we're talking about password managers, this VPN basically has a safe, secure, and anti-logging policy, meaning they're not going to log your activity, which is good. You want that in a VPN. In addition to country selection, Dashlane ensures that you have some sort of dark web monitoring. It's better than nothing. Maybe it won't scan the whole dark web, but at least it's better than nothing. You would rather have that control in place, which isn't gonna do anything to you, but it's only gonna help you. Dashlane really does meet my needs when it comes to password managers, when it comes to uh, seeing if my credentials, my door just like shut on its own and I just scared the jeebies out of me. Dashlane provides several solutions to my needs when it comes to uh, safety online and security online. You have the password manager side, which ensures security and better convenience. You have the um, dark web monitoring, and then you have the VPN, so you don't have to worry about finding a VPN solution. If you're interested in Dashlane, uh, go ahead and just use the link in the description below. Also, there's a link to KeePass in the description below uh, for those who want a local-based solution. I will recommend that for any of these cloud-based solutions, whichever one you pick, recommend multi-factor authentication. And if they don't have multi-factor authentication, don't use it. Don't use the, not a good idea. You want to have multiple factors of authentication, especially when you have one password, which unlocks all your passwords. So thank you very much. And that is it for today's video. If you have found this series helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you have any ideas, if you want any more ideas of security, don't know where I was going with that. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy and have a good day.